Hey, Zachary. Hey, Mom. How you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I wanted to uh, go live and uh, share with my Facebook friends. You um, gave me some analogies or uh, thoughts that the Lord gave you just uh, uh, with day-to-day -day living. So I want you to uh, expound on a little bit and tell me those uh, the, the thoughts that the Lord gave you. Tell me what happened. Well, um, first, okay, so as of right now, um, Phoebe and Miracle are my two youngest siblings are sick right now, so, be, you know, be praying They're for what? Them. They're sick at the moment, so be praying for them. But, um, around this time of the year, annually, uh, whenever somebody gets sick, it always spreads around to the others. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was looking at it as a spiritual form. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare call the Holy Ghost of sickness but sometimes just being around someone that's filled the Holy Ghost it can spread and you can catch on you know um, <laughs> you could you know it can make you uh, want to get the Holy Ghost just being around that person if you know just like if you're around the right people you you know you start changing just mm -hmm. by seeing their change uh, like you know you ever wonder like when you're around sinners you know how at first they start being curious. They start asking all these questions, like they be like, you know, like what kind of so what kind of music you listen to, and you know, so like they they become curious. They start getting onto it, and then some love you see them, they start changing too. Mm -hmm. And like before you know it, they in church, they in church, they going to church every. And then all of a sudden the day come and they you know they say just like you. So it's like. The Holy Ghost can be contagious. Contagious. Yeah. So, usually when we hear the word contagious, it's like, oh boy, somebody got the heebie-jeebies. So, it's something that you can catch that you don't want to catch. Yeah. So, what you said tonight is the thought that the God gave you is the Holy Ghost is contagious. In other words, uh, you know how the Bible says that evil communication corrupts good manners. But with the Holy Ghost... It's the same way. Good communication it, it is a blessing for you. So uh, there's another uh, phrase that people say, a uh, statement. They say that uh, you are what you eat. So in other words, what uh, you're a product of the company that you keep. I think, I think that's a good way to say it. You're a product of the company that you keep. So that, that's a great analogy. Well, you told me Um, Minister Craig Glover at our church actually preached on it yesterday, mm -hmm. um, last night at uh, church. But and this um, was day before yesterday when yes, you gave yes, it to me. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. day before. Um, usually we have a um, water machine in our house, and Phoebe, again, which is two, um, <laughs> she will come ask somebody when she wants some water. She'll come and she'll be like, you know, Zachary, can you fix some water? And you know, if, if I like, if somebody like kind of push it back in a way, or like if you don't go do it at like immediately yes. she will feel like you're being uh, you ignore her so she will take it in her own hands to go fix that water absolutely and when she go do that she want to be in a big mess with leaves us to clean up hello and i feel like in a spiritual um that i thought of that in a spiritual way now we need to start you know fixing our water for our sister that's right but um like with god just because you feel like you're being ignored doesn't mean you Woo, have to hallelujah. Your hands you hey. can make it a mess jesus you know it's like Hey, you know, like you, you might like you ask God for something, and just because He doesn't give you the answer, doesn't mean you just take it to yourself. And like, um, you know what I mean, like sometimes I mean, like kids, like sometimes a kid, like uh, they ask their mom for something, and if the mom don't give uh, them an answer, or, or the dad, you know, they don't give them an answer, they would just assume what the answer was gonna be, <laughs> which is not smart. Which, which is not smart because. <laughs> You know, you can either react to as if you weren't going to get it and why I'm not getting it. Or you could just get react to as if you're going to get it and why I'm not getting it. Mm -hmm. So either way, you make a mess. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So you can either be missing your blessing. You either be missing your blessing because thinking that you weren't going to get your blessing. Or you can wind up having that blessing taken away from you because you thought you could take it when it wasn't yours. To say, you know what? Ooh, yes, Lord. So, just a, a recap. 
so what happens is um, Phoebe, like we said, Phoebe is two years old, and she'll come to just a random person and ask for something to drink from some water. So you might be busy, might be doing this or that, and don't necessarily pay her any attention at the time. So she decide, hey, I'm going to get some water myself. And she goes over there and fill a cup. And, okay, now you got a spill on the floor. So somebody's cleaning up the mess. But actually, she was trying to get some help all along before she made that, uh, you know, that decision to do that. But I really love how uh, that thought came to you is just, you know, even though Phoebe would learn as she get older that, okay, if... Zachary said wait or if mama said wait you know just wait but with us we have to know that when God is uh, when it looks like he's not answering just be still stay steadfast and don't take uh, things in our own hands don't um, get you know get in his get in his way and 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 take things in our own hands is that am I following you is that pretty much what you you are uh, trying to yeah. express yes yes ma'am um like basically and like an, um, another thing you know just because like I said just because you you don't hear an answer doesn't mean that God is not hearing you, you know? Ooh, yes Lord you glory know? it's like um, like sometimes if you might ask for something and you keep asking and asking and asking you know it's not like and they you know they don't go do that thing or something it's not like they don't hear you you know you never see the other thing maybe you was like I need a um I need a car, mm -hmm. and you know, guys, just like I want you to see how it feels for the people who don't always have a car, who mm -hmm. has to walk to work or walk to the store. Maybe sometimes guys just trying to show you something. Maybe right. he has that car waiting for you the whole time. Yeah. He's just trying to prove a point. Um, like um, uh, recently, I was telling my uh, dad I was um, asking him to buy me something, and you know, he didn't uh, he didn't buy it to me at that time. So you know, I was kind of I was like. You know, Dad, I've been asking you for this thing, and you won't buy it, and you said bought it for me. But my dad, he told me, he's like, um, I'm going to grass uh, for allowance. He's like, I pay your allowance all the time. You know, you can't go buy that thing for yourself. You know, Hello. I mean, I mean, technically, like, it, technically, he will be giving you a buy. He will be buying it. My dad gives He me, was buying it for you the whole time because you've been getting the allowance, but you wasn't a good steward over what you was being blessed with. You're so yeah. smart, Zachary. I love yeah. you. That's um, awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. So, uh, we appreciate Mr. Zachary. This is my little preacher man. I, you know, I'm just, he just have me just so at awe, you know, with the things that the Lord deal with him about. And I wanted to share with my Facebook friends. And so let's keep that in mind. The two analogies that, uh, he gave us tonight, uh, with, uh, Phoebe going to get her water because she feels like, uh, she's being ignored and um uh you know the other side to that is that when we feel like god is just because it looks like god is not moving that doesn't mean that he is not moving and while you was talking about that zachary i was thinking about the uh woman who went to the unjust judge and she kept going to him and the Bible basically would say, I'm paraphrasing that she wearied him. She literally kept going until she got on his nerves and he got so tired of her coming. He said, let me, get, let me grant her, her request. And that scripture basically is telling us how much more will our heavenly father grant us our request when we pray, you know, and, and so we just need to be steadfast uh, and be encouraged. The things that we're praying for and we're looking for God to do for us. Don't, don't get antsy. Don't get anxious. The Bible tells us not to be anxious and just be steadfast. Let's wait, 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 wait on the Lord and he'll bring it to pass. So anything else, Zachary, in the final words before we go? Cause you preaching, baby. You preaching. Awesome, awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And Zachary, you got several comments here. You got Minister Hughes uh checking you out and um uh, uh sister Diane Chambers and uh Sister Forrest Green, praise the Lord for her. Thank God for her uh chiming in and Minister Carrie and Sister Brock is on here and my classmate. 
uh, Lakeisha Johnson, she chiming in uh, and checking you out. We got Natasha Jones uh, checking us out tonight. We thank God for all of you. Appreciate you for chiming in. And I just want to encourage Zachary because um, he's a young man and I want him to be encouraged to stay focused on the Lord and keep his heart with God because when I tell all of my children when I was their age you know I was uh, contaminated at a young age and while I was a child and I should have been doing things that children do I was doing things that grown folks do and so I'm just so thankful that uh, these children have a, a heart for God and so I like to encourage him when God deals with him and giving him thought so I appreciate you guys love you and you have a blessed night if this video was a blessing to you share it and uh, let somebody else watch it appreciate you all love you you all have a good night Bye-bye.